Welcome back to Celebrating Act Two. Today, John and I are speaking with Dr. Liz Lister, who always finds something really interesting to help us think about and improve our lives. Hey, Dr. Liz, you caught me taking my vitamins and my pills this morning, my medicine. <laughs> I, it's, it's just that time of day when I have my pill caddy with me. Nice. And, uh, you know, it brings up the, a really important point. I, I am part of a medical, uh, I don't know what they call it, a medical program, you know, where, where all my doctors are on the same system and they can look at my medicines and what the mm -hmm. other doctor recommended. And the, if nice. I get an x-ray for this guy, the other guy can see it. Nice. And uh, I, it must be something to do with age where you end up having more than one doctor. I think I've got five of them. <laughs> but but the question yeah. comes for those people that don't have that kind of coordination be, be, between their doctors. That's it's right. easy. And I know that in the past, this has been a big problem. It's easy to have um, not coordinate your medicines. Right. And it's easy right. to, to uh, have medicines that interact badly in your body. And of course, we know that you know some people have abused the system, be, taken advantage of that for the wrong reasons, so to get drugs and things like that. But it, it's, it, it raises the question, and I'd like you to address this, that we really need to be aware of all of our um, all of the drugs we're putting into our body. That's right. That's exactly right. You're pointing to a problem that actually has a name that I wanted to share with you this on, on this video to share with our listeners because it's very important. And the word is polypharmacy. Polypharmacy. And it means exactly what it sounds like. Multiple medications yeah. to treat one particular condition. Uh. And that's what you're talking about. So, for example... One doctor may give a cholesterol medication that might cause joint pain, and then the joint pain doctor gives pain medicine rather than connecting those dots. And to your point, realizing the other medications that a person is on and not just treating a side effect. Yeah, yeah. Right? There's a, another phrase that's being used is multiple chronic conditions. And a lot of Americans are living with multiple chronic conditions, such as arthritis, COPD, heart disease, yep. diabetes, hypertension. Sure, and, that, and that's even depression. That's mm -hmm. pretty common as we get older. We, you know, you you hit fifty, you might have one, you know, bad knee from when you were in football or something. But you get to 60, and now you've got a chronic condition. You get to 70, you've got two or three chronic conditions. And that's we're living right. longer, so we've got to treat that's them all. Right. That's right. Yeah, that's exactly right. And a lot of problems arise with, the, with polypharmacy, uh, including people having more chances of side effects. There may be drug interactions that cause yeah. unexpected side effects. Uh, if people feel dizzy, if they fall... That's terrible. Sure. Right? And the CDC conducted a study and they issued a report that showed that a third of adults in their 60s and 70s reported using five or more prescription medications in the previous 30 days. Oh, I'm, I would think that would be very common. Yeah. Yes. I've got, right? uh, I could count them up. I think I've got, uh, of course, I take a lot of supplements, so I... I have a lot right. of pills. Where's my pill caddy? Got lots of pills in there every morning and night. <laughs> but um, yes. I would say out of all the pills I take, half of them are supplements and the other half are medicines prescribed right. by different doctors. Sure. Yeah. yeah sure. So, so what is the approach that uh, we as a consumer of these medicines, for instance, uh, uh, an example, let's say if somebody has been diagnosed with, uh, has a hypertension and uh, they... Uh, or uh, uh, maybe have a, a, a blood clot in their leg. So there's, there's a warfarin and there's the statins and there's, there's all sorts of other kinds of pills that you can take. How do we as a advocate for ourselves pay attention to this to find out 
are we maybe taking too many drugs for the same the same diagnosis, right. basically? Is there That's a way right. we can do that? Yes. So number one is good, thorough communication with your doctor and coming prepared, right? Because doctors, unfortunately, nowadays are short on time. So you come prepared. You've got your list of everything that you're taking. Now, we have a pretty savvy audience right there. They are seekers of healthcare information. A lot of people out there, what's happening with polypharmacy is they're just not compliant. They're just not taking everything that they're being instructed to take. Uh -huh. And maybe it's because they experience side effects. So making sure that your care team knows what you are experiencing on the program. That's, that's number one is communication. Number two is one more term that's being used a lot, and I want it to be used even more, is deprescribing. It's exactly what it sounds like, is having your doctors consider it a priority to take you off of medications. Yeah. That once you're added, once you have something added on, it doesn't mean you're stuck with it forever. All right. There are other ways to deal with pain, for example, uh, other being in, being sure that they're using. Sometimes, to your point, John, there are supplements that can be very helpful that aren't prescription medications and don't have the same side effects. There's anti-inflammatory supplements. Yeah. There's fish oil that helps with blood flow uh, to what Art mentioned. All right. So sometimes supplements can be helpful. And as we know, and as I've shared in my four years of medical school, how much nutrition training did we get one week <laughs> out of four years? And so this is not really improving <laughs> yeah. out there, all right? So de-prescribing, it's very important, it's being emphasized, it's being considered to be a part of, that it should be a part of every visit. Let's look at your meds, where the yeah. doctor says, let's look at what you're taking, what can we consolidate? I do that with my patients. What can we consolidate? What is overlapping? What can we try to reduce the dose of? And so that's very, very important. And not just you get one medicine and gives a side effect and you get given another medicine to treat the side effect. No, we want to reverse. We want to back out of that. Yep. And that is referred to as deprescribing and it needs to be added to routine care. Right, yeah. and and to ask your doctor and not be uh, concerned that uh, you're going to be insulting them because, uh, right. first of all, it's likely that you're not going to be insulting them. They're going to be glad that somebody actually is thinking about how they can improve their own health. Uh, but uh, uh, I know that I take I have about five uh, five or so prescription drugs. And every time I go in to see my doctor, we talk about uh, maybe uh, adding or, or subtracting one. He added one about three or four years ago, which seemed to help. But he said, you want to get rid of some of the other ones, you got to lose a lot more weight. And so uh, uh, I'm, I'm waiting for that day to happen uh, uh, so that I can go in and he, he can take me off a couple of uh, uh, the things that I might not otherwise need if I weigh less. Yep, absolutely. Well, this is, I, you know, this is an important topic. I'm glad uh, you were able to address it for me because um, while I've got my doctors all coordinating, and of course I have a GP among my doctors as a GP, he's kind of the team leader. He oversees, double yes. checks everybody, but Perfect. not everybody has that. Hmm. That's right. That's right. And I wanted to add that if you are seeing a doctor who is, insulted because you brought some information and asked questions, it's yeah. time to find a different doctor. Right. Oh. Well, the only thing I would say is if, if you walk That's into your cool. doctor constantly and say, hey, look, I was just speaking with Dr. Google, then right. <laughs> sure. they you might be insulted. The doctor, but if their ego is like offended that you looked into it or that you asked questions, yeah. not cool. Right. Yeah. We, I point. agree. Yeah. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.